The first sentence does need to set the tone for the entire book, I think, and I was lucky with this book because I did stumble upon it fairly early on. That said, for the longest time, the first sentence was all I had. At first glance, she mistook him for something else. In the fading winter light, he could have been a branch or a log, even a tire. In the many years she'd been cross-country skiing on Mount Royal, she'd found stranger debris across her path. One of the titles that my American editor wanted for the book was Witness, which is actually very appropriate for the book because the main characters are all witnesses to somebody else's trauma. But I felt that it would inevitably call to mind the 1984 Amish movie with Harrison Ford, so I decided that it was not workable. I am someone who really likes routine. I don't thrive on chaos. I like the same thing every day, and that's the best way for me to um, take risks creatively, is to have a very calm and orderly day-to-day um, -day life. There might be some connection between um, the kind of person I am and the kind of characters that I write. These characters specifically are, are all listener characters. They're therapists, aid workers, even the actress character. To be a successful actor, you have to really listen and pay attention to the other people who are acting with you and to the audience. And I myself am more of a listener than a talker in almost all situations. One thing I've noticed about publishing is that people are always saying that things are harder now than they've ever been before. And I think that um, it's hard for me to tell as a fairly young writer um, exactly where things are headed. I think things are changing for print books, but there's also a lot of excitement that goes into um, the advent of new media. I have this one Iranian reader who communicates with me through Facebook and has translated some of my short stories into Persian and shared them with readers there. And I just think that wouldn't have been possible possible 20 years ago and it's tremendously exciting. One of the best parts of writing is, for me anyway, is when you have the overall outlines of the story in place and there's no more anxiety about trying to figure out where things are going and then you can really focus on the language and working on it um, sentence by sentence, word by word. That's a real moment of pleasure for me, which is probably an incredibly nerdy thing to say. <laughs>